What's up, everybody? Coach Lou here from Emerge Martial Arts. Finally got my wrecking balls hung up and ready to use. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of quick drills that I like to do on the wrecking ball. The first one is how to make your cross stronger. And the second one is gonna be an in and out movement to help you to get in, score those big shots, and get out before you get hit or counterattacked. The wrecking ball is a good bag for beginners, especially if you have not worked on a heavy bag a lot because it's a little bit lighter than a regular heavy bag and it moves a lot. These, these bags swing a lot, and this one particularly spins, so when you hit it wrong, you know, all right? So let's get right into it. First one, we're gonna make this cross strong by pushing the heavy bag and trying to hit it as it comes back towards us, all right? The one thing I don't wanna do is I don't wanna hit the bag as it's going away from me, all right? So as the bag goes away, I don't want to hit it, right? A couple of things that's going to do, it's going to make the heavy bag move a little funny, and it's also going to throw me off balance. The other thing I don't want to do is hit the bag when it's too close because it shortens up my cross. I want to hit it right in the middle. Make sure you're in a good position, nice stance, hands up, your right hand's right above, right below your eye, left hand's out in front. When you throw your cross, get your chin down into your shoulder, Make sure your punching hand is right below your eye line so you can see it. The other thing I want you to do is I want you to practice driving through. Bending your knee and turning your hip. Let me step back so you can see this. When you throw your cross, turn in, sit into that punch, turn the hip, and drive through your target. All right, so we're gonna get this bag swinging. Now, you can swing in the bag, it's up to you how far or how hard you want to swing it. I can only swing it so far because the type of setup I have will not allow me to swing it too far. But I'm going to do it. It's a moderate swing, all right? So when I hit the bag, I want to wait for it to come while it's in the middle. So I'm going to let it swing a couple times, and then when I'm ready, push, right when it gets in the middle. Now, I don't want the bag, when I hit it, to drive my hand back, all right? If that's happening, it means you're not pushing through and driving through your punch, you're not turning your hip. In order to get the strength or more power that you're looking for, it's important that your hand doesn't recoil, that you stop the bag from swinging, all right? So this is what we're looking for. Get that good swing, get into your good position, and stop the bag from swinging. Turn that hip, drive through the punch. And one more. Drive through that punch. So the second drill is moving in and out. The biggest thing that I see a lot of people do, and I was bad for this too, is when I first started working on heavy bags a lot, especially at my first kickboxing gym, I would hit the bag, you know, and I wouldn't move around a lot, I would just hit it, right? You know, standing still. And then when I would get in the ring, I would get hit a lot because what happens is people put their hands up, you hit them and then they hit you. So this is gonna help you on getting in quick and getting out. The other thing too is, when you're sparring or fighting, heads don't stay still, they move. People don't stay still. Well, some people stand still, but most of the time they're moving around. So again, we're gonna get this bag swinging. I wanna chase the bag down, all right? So I have to be on my toes bouncing around. I'm gonna step in with the one, two. I'm gonna go one, two and step right back. All right, now that movement, as you can see, was a little bit too far away. We're gonna work on our timing with this one too. You don't wanna be too far away from your opponent. You wanna be just out of his range. So when you hit with the one, two and you step back, you're just outside his range where he can't counter attack you. So again, here we go, get the bag swinging. Hands up, right on your toes, step back. Great cardio drill too. You start out doing that for a minute, 30 seconds, building up to two minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds, three minutes. That's gonna be a great cardio drill. That's gonna work on your fast twitch, bouncing in and out movement. You'll be able to get in there, score those big shots, and get out without getting hit. So there you have it. 
two great drills to work on the wrecking ball if you have a wrecking ball at your facility. If you do not, a regular boxing bag works fine. And I'm gonna leave you with this, something my coach used to tell me all the time. Train hard because somewhere out there your opponent is training harder. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook forward slash Emerge Martial Arts and Instagram Emerge Martial Arts. And remember, training isn't something you do, it's a way of life. House.